day in 12 of our praise and worship. And so um, I'm glad you are able to make it with me today. Amen. So we're going to be looking at uh, praise meditation um, scripture this morning. And we're going to be taking it from the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms. And uh, that will be Psalm 118. We're going to be taking our praise meditation from the book of Psalm 118. And I um, hope that you are with your Bibles this morning. Um, how was yesterday's praise? Were you able to join us um, in dancing and praising God? If we're not able to yesterday, I want to believe that today you'll be able to join us by 6 p.m. Praise the Lord. And so this morning, we are reflecting and are meditating on Psalm 118 for our praise meditation. If you have your Bible, let's quickly go over it now. Give thanks to the Lord, He is good. For His faithful love endures forever. Let Israel say, His faith endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His faithfulness endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His faithfulness endures forever. For I called to the Lord in distress, and the Lord answered me, and put me in a spacious place. The Lord is for me, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? With the Lord for me as my helper, I will look in triumph over this. who hates me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in nobles. All the nations surrounded me. In the name of the Lord, I destroyed them. They surrounded me. Yes, they surrounded me. In the name of the Lord, I destroyed them. They surrounded me like bees. They were extinguished like a fire among thorns. In the name of the Lord, I destroyed them. You pushed me hard to make me fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tent of the righteous. The right hand strikes with power. The Lord's right hand is raised. The Lord's right hand strikes with power. I will not die, but I will live and proclaim what the Lord has done. The Lord disciplined me severely, but did not give me over to death. Open gates of righteousness for me. I will enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous will enter through it. I will give thanks to you because you have answered me and have become my salvation. So the gate of praise, the gate of thanksgiving is the gate of the Lord. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This came from the Lord. It is one in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The Lord saved us. The Lord Okay, O oh Lord, save us. Please grant us success. Blessed is it who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord, we bless you. The Lord is God and has given us light. Bind the festival sacrifice with us to the homes of the altar. You are our God and I will give you. You are my God and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His faithfulness endures forever. Praise the Lord. And so looking at the scripture, you know, we are going to be meditating today on God's faithfulness, on God's goodness, on God's help. Praise the Lord. He is the one that helps us and he, ha he has been helping us daily. Praise the Lord. So we are giving thanks to him for today because he's good. He's good God. He's faithful. He's merciful. So you'll be meditating. We are going to be meditating on all this this morning as we are thanking him all through the day. Thanking him for his faithfulness. For his goodness towards us, our families, our you know our siblings, uh, the job of our hands, the work of your hands, your business, your marriage, your family. We're thanking God, your finances. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. We bless you. And it says, let those who fear the Lord say that the Lord is 
merciful. Then his mercy endures forever. His faithfulness endures forever. Those who fear the Lord. So when we are talking about praising God. You know, we always say that only those who fear the Lord can praise Him. They are the only ones who can appreciate that God is doing something in their lives. They are the only ones who can... Uh, who, who can always remember what God has done for them. But when we can always remember what God has done for us, we will not be involved in wicked acts. We will always want to make him happy. We will always want to please him. So only those who fear the Lord can praise the Lord. And he says, I called the Lord in my distress. Have you called upon the Lord this year? And he has answered you because he will surely answer. I called him in my distress and he answered me. He puts me in a spacious place. The Lord is expanding you. If you, have, you can see expansion in your life, you can see progress in your life, then God deserves your praise. The Lord has put me in a spacious place. God is for me and I will not be afraid. So he has been fighting battles for you. He has been fighting battles for me. And we know that whatever we face, I will always rise on our behalf. So we are not afraid what God can do to us. We are not afraid what the enemy can do to us. Because we know that God is always there for us. And these are the things that we must be, you know, pondering over and meditating upon for us to know that we have praised this God and keep praising. Can we even praise him enough? We can just keep praising him and keep thanking him. Even if we, if we don't do anything all day, 24 hours, okay, you know, we can just be using every second to be praising the Lord. With the Lord for me as my helper, I will look in trial over those who hate me. So you know that there are a lot of people who hate your gods. So, so many people who even wish that you were dead. Yeah. But God has been sustaining you and has kept you. So it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in nobles. You can't actually trust anyone, but if you trust the Lord, the Lord will always be there for you. Who can we even trust? These days we see children walking against their parents. We see husbands and wives, okay, walking against each other. So you can't trust anyone. Even parents walk against their children. But our trust should always be in the Lord because he's the one that fights for us. He's the one that is always there for us. He's the one that keeps us. So we can always thank him for keeping us, for fighting our battles, for being there for us all the time. Thanking him, giving him all right praise this morning, all his giving. Looking at everything that he has done. When I look to my left and I look to the right and I look forward and I even remember what he has done, all I can just be saying is, oh Lord, thank you. If not for you. If not for your face, if not for your mercies. So we can always also say all this to him. For all the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord, I destroyed them. How many of your enemies have, dis have surrounded you this year? And you have conquered, you have come out victorious. So we are appreciating this God for the victories that he has given unto us. They surrounded me. Yes, they surrounded me. In the name of the Lord, I destroyed them. He has given us victories. They surrounded me like bees. They were extinguished like a fire among thorns. In the name of the Lord, I destroyed them. You pushed me hard to make me fall. That's the enemy, you know, pushing you hard, setting um, stumbling blocks on, on your path. But in the name of the Lord, they are destroyed. No matter what they, they did, the Lord has kept us. The Lord brought us out. So we owe him thanks. And my song, so the Lord has become my strength. And I'm my song and my praise. We go unto him. Because he's my strength. Is my is my song. Is also my salvation. The one who saves me. Are you talking to the Lord now? Or you're just looking at me? I think you just be talking to him. Just be um, recounting the things that he has done for you. The Lord has become a salvation. He has become a song. He has become a, a, a strength. You know, there are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the righteous. And your tents will always have joy. Your tents, your household will always have victory. Your household will always rejoice and make noise and shout shouts of joy of victories in the name of Jesus Christ. For the Lord's right hand always strike with power, destroys our enemies. The Lord's right hand continually risks to help us. The Lord's right hand 
us, our enemies. Therefore, we shall not die, we shall live to continue to declare the works of the Lord, to continue to declare what the Lord has done in our lives, his great and mighty works in our lives, things that he has done for us. Lord, thank you because we are alive to declare your works and we continue, O oh Lord, to live in order to continue to declare works, your faithfulness, your mercies in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. For the Lord did not give us over to death, even though we have faced certain things that, okay, which are definitely like discipline and training for us. But the Lord brought us out uh, and he did not give us over to destruction. Therefore, we shall enter through the gates of thanksgiving, through the gates of praise, uh, to give God praise, uh, to give God thanks. Uh, we shall enter through the gates of thanksgiving. The righteous will only enter through the gates of thanksgiving in order to keep giving thanks to the Lord. I will give thanks to you because you have answered me. How many people want to give thanks to the Lord? The Lord has answered you this year. I am number one. I will keep giving thanks to him because he has answered me, because he has been faithful to me, because he has remembered me, because he has become my salvation. Praise the Lord. Because I am that stone that the builders have rejected, but the Lord has become my, my cornerstone, has made me a cornerstone. So this came from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our sight. So many of us have been declared, uh, you know, declared dead, declared uh, non-relevant, but the Lord has made us important. The Lord has made you relevant in your family, in your in your business place, your market space, in your in your in your working place, because God fought your battles. You have been rejected. You have been put put push aside as if you do not matter. But look at you today. The Lord restored you. The Lord made you like a cornerstone. And now you are a sought after. Praise the Lord. So it is wonderful. It is marvelous in our eyes. For this is the day that the Lord has made. The day to rejoice. The day to praise Him. And we shall rejoice. We shall be glad in Him. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So these are the words that you can be meditating upon. Wandering over all through the day and thanking the Lord. You know, when you can think enough, then you know how to thank God enough. So look in what, think about your life. Has this God been faithful? Has he been good? Does he deserve all my praise? Does he deserve my dancing? Does he deserve all worship? Does he deserve deserve all thanksgiving? Because of all that he has done in my life. So you can thank him, you can keep praising him, you can keep worshiping him all through the day, for the Lord deserves our worship, our praise, our thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, we are thanking him today for victories, for his faithfulness, for his goodness, for his mercies, for his favors, for, uh, for having our back all the time, for restoring us. So, just keep praising him. And the Lord, we Definitely look in your direction today in Jesus' mighty name. As we are giving him thanks, as we are exalting his holy name, God will continue to do more for us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So remember that the number one tool that you need is your heart. Let your heart be connected unto him as you are thanking him. Give him true worship. Give him sincere praise, sincere thanksgiving, and see what God will do in your life. That's man that did the tenth leper that came to say thank you to jesus of course received a perfection okay okay maybe the others will have just taken um the, the, the miracle what they did for them they took it for granted but this particular one returned there and said ah so this is me had been a leper all my years look at me i'm now in then he ran back to the lord jesus and he fell on the floor to thank him what are you doing about the things that he has done for you. Have you taken everything for granted on a daily basis? Do you all thank him for giving you breath? Do you take being able to move all parts of your body? Do you take it for granted? Or do you realize that, that there's no way you can move the parts of your body on your own? He has not made it possible. So Lord, thank you. We appreciate you. From the bottom of our heart, we are saying, Lord, the depth of our heart, we are saying, Father, Take all glory for everything that you have done and everything that you are still doing and all that you will still do 
in the name of Jesus Christ. So we have our mouth, we, as we are connected in our heart, we also have our mouth to open and sing unto him and appreciate him in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us give him just uh, thanks right now. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you for your goodness. Even for being here, oh Lord, daily talking about you is by your grace, oh Lord. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. Thank you, Lord, for the heart of thanksgiving that you have even given unto us. We appreciate you. We thank you for all that you have done. We thank you, Lord, King of glory, for another day, a bright new day, a day, oh Lord, a day that you have made, yeah, and we are rejoicing, and we are glad yeah, that you made us to see this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Thank you, oh Lord. For as many that are saying thank you, oh Lord, accept our thanksgiving. As many that are, that will be praising you today and have started praising you already, oh Lord, accept our praises and our worship today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now.